Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As we begin our ceremony, please stand and join in the singing of the national anthem, and then remain standing for the invocation, which will be delivered by Father Abraham Valaliel from St. Catherine of Alexandria Church in Blovelt. Our leader of song is Katie Anderson, herself an alumna of Dominican College, class of 2008, and director of the college's new student and transition center. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. I would like to begin this invocation wishing you all the graduates success in your life in whatever you do and wherever you go. Alexander Wolcott, one of the most famous alumni of Hamilton College, New York, was asked to give a major address at college's centennial celebration. Wolcott gave a memorable speech which began with these words. I send my greetings today to all my fellow alumni of Hamilton College scattered all over the world. Some of you are successes and some of you are failures. Only God knows which are which. This is a wonderful reminder to us that in our measurement of success and failure, God's thoughts are not our thoughts, nor our ways, God's ways. Remember, you are what you are before God, nothing more, nothing less. So be what you are and be at its best. So close your eyes and pray. Gracious and compassionate God, we bless you and are filled with gratitude for the numerous gifts, the countless blessings that comes to us from you. Your blessings come in joy, times of joy, in times of victory, in success and honor, and they come as well in times of pain and sorrow, in sickness and defeat. We find joy in celebrations, in holidays and vacations, in our work and in school as well. We thank you, Lord of Gifts, for friendships, family and fun, in winning and in losing, in being last as well as first. We take relish in the challenges and adventures of life. Your blessings, however, comes always as life. We thank you today, especially for the lives of these graduates. Bless them, their proud parents, grandparents, their spouses, and all their friends and relatives. We know that these graduates are proud of Dominican College, Blauvelt, their alma mater. May she also become proud of you by promoting her mission of educational excellence leadership and service in an environment characterized by respect for the individual and concern for the community and its needs. 
as these students reach the culmination of their learning in St. Dominic and prepare to depart, we pause in now at the prospect before them, new careers and fresh life ventures all await. Yet in the face of the exciting possibilities, keep them mindful of their responsibility to live more than just for themselves, to turn for what is just and right. Loving God and Father, with the degrees and honors being bestowed on these your children, confer on them your grace and blessing. May they make this world a better place to be. Bless them with patience as they explore new horizons. Bless them with humility in the face of success and abundance. Bless them with compassion for the poor, the sick, and the suffering. Bless them with gratitude for friends, mentors, and family who have supported them through this journey. And bless us all, family, faculty, friends, and supporters, as we share in the joy of their accomplishments. Our God, bless this afternoon, this commencement celebration, and may you guide these graduates and all of us as your people along the paths of peace, truth, righteousness, and grace. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. It is my pleasure at this time to introduce to you the president of Dominican College, Sister Mary Eileen O'Brien. Good afternoon, everyone. Trustees, honored guests, faculty, relatives, and friends, and most especially, the class of 2019, it is my distinct honor to welcome you to Dominican in this, its 67th year of existence. In a few moments, graduates, you'll cross the stage and we hope that you will do so with a great sense of pride in your accomplishment. You've worked hard, balanced many responsibilities, and we're delighted to celebrate with you today. Stay in touch with the people and ideals you've met at Dominican Continue to develop your skills at excelling, leading, and servicing. Be proud of the college, your alma mater, as we are of you. Remember, as Kyle reminded us last evening, once a charger, always a charger. The college measures itself by many things, but nothing more than the competence and the compassion and the success of its graduates. As you claim as alma mater Dominican, let me say a word about the spirit of the Dominican family. From Toulouse, a small town in southern France, the joyful and liberating proclamation of good news has spread across the globe and down through the centuries. Dominic Guzman, a Spaniard of the 13th century, founded an order to search for truth and convey it to others. He believed in the value of a nurturing community based on deep respect for the individual and balanced by concern for the whole. A joyful, compassionate individual, he appreciated the value of study in helping people reach their potential. A man of prayer, he recognized deep relationship to God, to his sisters and brothers, and to all of creation. Dominic would say, grain that is hoarded rots. That which is scattered flourishes. Be prepared to share your seeds of learning and experience. Mary Oliver, a noted poet who died this year, explores the relationship between understanding and involvement. She said, can we be passionate, can you be passionate about the just, the ideal, the sublime, and the holy, and yet commit nothing to realizing it? Her reply, I don't think so. She ends the poem with the challenge, be ignited or be gone. 
The motivation to ignite good deeds does not come solely from recognizing that what has to be done, but also by realizing that we are the members of the one family that has to make sure it gets done. Through your education, you've been exposed to men and women who brought new vision, who chose not indolence, but action, who decided not to go, but rather to stay and to share the flame. Remember the words of Catherine of Siena, when you are who you are meant to be, you will set the world on fire. So we hope and pray that your achievement will not only lead to personal growth and meaningful employment, but in the process will enhance the rights of all others. We encourage each of you to reach beyond your, not to go beyond your experience and reach towards your aspiration. As you contemplate your tomorrows, make your own the words of the Indian poet Tagore. I slept and dreamt that life was joy. I awoke and saw that life was service. I acted and behold, service was joy. As has been said, we thank on your behalf all of those parents, grandparents, faculty, teachers, friends, spouses who have brought you to this day. No one takes significant steps in life unaided by the help of those who love them and need them. How blessed we are by the achievement of our graduates, how grateful we are for the presence of our guests, each of whom has learned to live creatively and generously. How honored we are by the presence of our Cardinal. Thank you, Your Eminence, for taking time from your unbelievably busy schedule to be with your Dominican family. We also welcome an outstanding alum, founder of Project Porn, Abdul Suleiman, a most generous physician, Dr. Ronald Israelski, and a creative scientist and businessman, John Sorrentino. Graduates, as you move forward, do so with confidence. You are the best. May your gracious God, our gracious God, who makes all things new, enliven your spirits, make friends of the divine, keep you friends of one another, and enable all of us to make a difference by sharing generously the flame of our lives. Congratulations, class of 2019. Thank you, Sister Mary Eileen. Each year, in addition to the degrees and honors conferred upon its own graduating students, the college takes pleasure in presenting awards and honorary degrees to individuals whose lives and work have been characterized by qualities and commitments and types of achievements that the college wishes for all of its graduates. We begin the presentation today with a memorial award that is in keeping with the sense of promise that we feel at commencement. It is presented in memory of Nicholas Badami, a young man whose sudden death ended a successful life and a promising future, and it honors graduates of Dominican College who in their lives have brought their promise to rich fulfillment. The reading of the citation for this year's Badami Outstanding Alumnus Award will be presented by Mr. James Tulin, President and Owner of Trace Environmental Systems Incorporated. And the honor will then be conferred by the President. The full texts of all the award and degree citations are given in your program. for the presentation of the Badami Outstanding Alumnus Award. Steven Spielberg said, quote, the delicate balance of mentoring someone 
is not creating them in your own image, but giving them the opportunity to create themselves." Close quote. Abdul Suleiman Jr. has devoted his life to mentoring and inspiring young people, especially underprivileged youth. After all, he knows all about overcoming hardships in life. Abdul was born and raised in a violent, drug-ridden neighborhood in the Bronx and was devastated when his father passed away before Abdul attended college. Later, at the age of 24, Abdul was robbed at gunpoint and shot in the stomach. He miraculously made a full recovery. And it was then that he turned to God and decided to live a life full of purpose. In 2013, Abdul founded a company called Project Pawn to mentor children through the game of chess. Using chess as a metaphor for life, Project Pawn was able to help teach young people important life lessons. Project Pawn has mentored 2,500 children in chess over the past six years. Ten elementary and middle schools in the Bronx, Manhattan, and Brooklyn currently have Project Pawn programs. Abdul believes chess kept him out of trouble. After losing his father, however, he was very angry and struggled as a new student at Dominican College. His grades suffered as he worked at night and often traveled home to help his mother. By junior year, however, Abdul decided to turn his life around. He pulled up his grades, he made the Chargers basketball team, became a peer mentor, and served as president of the Resident Life Association. In his senior year, he was awarded the prestigious Spirit of the Founders Award. Abdul has shown tremendous persistence in overcoming obstacles and has used his leadership to help others throughout his life. In recognition of his hard work, dedication to mentoring and inspiring young people, and commitment to giving back to the communities he serves, Dominican College is proud to present Abdul Suleiman Jr. with the 2019 Badami Outstanding Alumnus Award. We continue the presentations today with the conferral of the Veritas Medal. Veritas, truth, is the motto of, of Dominican College and also its aim, particularly as pursuit of truth contributes to the understanding and meeting of human needs. The college honors outstanding contributions of this kind and recognizes them through the presentation of this medal. The citation accompanying the conferral will be presented by Sister Kathleen Sullivan, Chancellor, and the medal will be conferred by the President. Compassion is just not feeling with someone, but seeking to change the situation. Frequently, people think compassion and love are merely sentimental. No, they are very demanding. If you are going to be compassionate, be prepared for action. The words of Desmond Tutu. Dr. Israelski has lived a life of compassion and action, not only as a board-certified orthopedic surgeon and assistant clinical professor of orthopedic surgery at NYU Hospital for Joint Diseases, and at Turo College of Medicine, but he has also been committed to programmatic development to increase medical delivery systems to underserved and neglected areas in the Hudson Valley. 
He founded and was the medical director of the Orange Regional Medical Center Bonin jo uh, Joint Center and served as an active member of numerous state and no national medical societies. In addition, he was the leading force in bringing a medical school to Orange County as well as residency programs to Orange Regional. He has continued his orthopedic research and teaching, earning him numerous recognitions and awards while maintaining his service at local clinics for the uninsured in Sullivan County and at NYU. It was the news of the catastrophic earthquake in Haiti in 2010 that broadened the scope of his compassion to the needs of the victims of this disaster. Stirred by the awareness of the devastation that only resulted in thousands of deaths, but in the destruction of the human and physical health care infrastructure that was needed to care for survivors, Dr. Israelsky knew he had to respond, traveling to Haiti within days of the tragedy and helping to care for the injured. Since those tragic days, he has been back to Haiti over 25 times, deploying surgical and educational teams to work with residents. He has founded a not-for-profit entity, Orthopedic Relief Services International, and has transported equipment amounting to over $1 million to Haiti. Action motivated by deeply ingrained and knowledgeable compassion accurately defines the life journey of Ronald Israelski. Dominican College is honored to present Dr. Israelski with the 2019 Veritas Medal. We turn now to this year's special honorary degrees, celebrating this day the lives and work of two individuals who have made a difference in the lives of others. We will have the pleasure of conferring first an honorary Doctor of Science degree on Mr. John E. Sorrentino, MBA, Vice President and Chief Operating Officer of Pfizer, and then an honorary degree, Doctor of Humane Letters, on our commencement speaker, Timothy Carl Cardinal Dolan, PhD, DD, Archbishop of New York. The citation for Mr. Sorrentino will be presented by Dr. Mary Leahy, Chief Executive Officer of Bond Secure Charity Health Systems, after which the degree will be conferred by the President's Sister Mary Eileen O'Brien. Most people say that it is the intellect which makes a great scientist. You are wrong. It is character. Those are the words of Albert Einstein. John Sorrentino's professional career has spanned more than 35 years of senior management experience in life sciences. Focused on improving public health, he has held leadership roles in private and public companies, as well as in government and nonprofit institutions. For the past 15 years, as site head of Pfizer's Pearl River campus, John was responsible for the strategic deployment and management of financial, physical, and human resources across nine vaccine research and development sites in seven countries. John led the site's corporate citizenship efforts and managed a broad mix of financial, facility staffing, clinical testing, and system initiatives to support the vaccine portfolio. These efforts span the entire research and development life cycle from early stage discovery projects through project registration and activities. John is a member of the leadership team that developed and licensed Prevnar 13, the most complex and commercially successful vaccine in the history of the pharmaceutical industry. Prior to joining Pfizer in 2003, John held executive management positions in several organizations that provided neonatal screening and related clinical services. In these roles, John pioneered laboratory advances that led to the expansion of neonatal screening for treatable genetic conditions throughout the world. During his career, John has founded three companies. 
He has also been a registered lobbyist, appearing before state legislators, the U.S. Congress, and professional societies on a variety of health care and other policy issues. John is currently chairman of the board of the Predictive Technology Group in Salt Lake City, a leader in the use of data analytics for disease identification and treatment, working to improve the quality of life for people throughout the world. In recognition of his accomplishments and dedication to an improving of public health, Dominican College is proud to confer upon John Sorrentino the degree of Doctor of Science honoris causa. For the second honorary degree to be awarded, Dominican College extends the honor and does itself the honor of including among its degree recipients, Timothy Cardinal Dolan. The citation accompanying the degree will be presented by Mr. Ken Marks, Chief Financial Officer of Barron Point Financial and Chairperson of the Dominican, Dominican College Board of Trustees. The degree will be conferred by the President, and we will then have the opportunity to hear from Cardinal Dolan in the commencement address. Thank you. Um, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the, word, you have the words of eternal life. St. John chapter 6, verse 68. At his elevation to the office of bishop in June of 2001, then Monsignor Timothy Dolan took as his, per, as his personal Episcopal motto, to whom shall we go? These were the words of faith spoken by St. Peter at the very moment he confirmed one of the greatest moments of doubt in his life. For a man who grew up in Missouri, Peter's act of faith reasoned in a special way as Timothy faced the unknown path ahead as a newly consecrated bishop of the Catholic Church. Timothy's journey to, of faith began in rural Missouri. The oldest of five siblings, he was the product of the prototypical small town in America. Having always felt the call to serve God's people as a priest, he entered the seminary in St. Louis. An exceptional student, Cardinal Dolan was selected to complete his priestly uh, formation at the prestigious Pontifical North American College in Rome. There he carried his degree in, in he, he earned his degree in sacred uh, theology in 1976. He returned to Missouri to work as a parish priest before being selected to pursue a doc, doctorate degree in the American church history at the Catholic University of America. Throughout his many years as priest, Cardinal Dolan has demonstrated a passion for ministry, service to the poor, and education. He has worked as a member of the Pontifical Council for promoting new evangelization and has traveled the globe to advance the cause of ecumenical outreach. In support of the church's mission uh, to care for the poor, he has served as a chairman of the Catholic Relief Services. Cardinal Dolan has taught as a professor of church history in various university level assignments and currently is a member of the Board of Trustees for the Catholic University of America. Cardinal Dolan announced in April 2019 a creative effort by the Archdiocese of New York to convert six church properties that were closed into residence facilities for some of the city's poorest and most marginalized residents, transforming, transforming their shuttered, these shuttered churches and residents into over 900 affordable housing units with some units reserved specifically for adults suffering, suffering with, from mental illness. The project aims not only to provide well-maintained living spaces to these neglected members of the community, but also to give them ongoing access to social services. So in recognition of a life of dedicated to the services of the poor, the education of the mind, and the care of the soul, 
Dominican College is honored to bestow the degree of Doctor of Humanities, honoris causa, to Timothy Michael Cardinal Dolan. Seen a flashbulb I didn't like. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sister Mary Eileen, Dominican sisters, uh, members of the board, and Mr. Marks, our distinguished faculty and administration, alumni, jubilant parents and families, and especially my new classmates, graduating class of 2019. <laughs> What, a, what an honor, what a joy uh, to receive this degree. You know, as the Archbishop of New York, I have the highest regard for the eight sterling Catholic colleges and universities within these acres of the Lord's Vineyard, and to receive an honorary degree from one of the best means a lot to me. Thank you very much. I just, uh, it just seems like the other day that I finished paying tuition on the degree that I earned. <laughs> <clears throat> I love coming to these uh, graduations because usually I'm the only one in the room that wears an outlandish outfit, but on an occasion like this, I'm in good company. I sense um, a special bond with all of you because, see, I too relish the education I received from Dominicans. In my, <coughs> pardon me, in my case, four years of theology at the Pontifical University of St. Thomas Aquinas in Rome. The intellectual wattage of the daughters and sons of St. Dominic is a most radiant jewel in the crown of Mother Church and of Western civilization. And you and I, <coughs> pardon me, are now both in their debt. I think it's these flowers putting off the pollen here. Thanks, Dr. Leahy. Now, classically, you all know that a speaker at a graduation usually is supposed to give you, receive, uh, rejoicing graduates, words of wisdom. But look, I get to do this a lot, at least one college commencement each May. That's what I usually try to do, impart some wise counsel to you. <coughs> but it strikes me, and I've learned from experience, most of the time it is I who learn wisdom at each commencement. It is I who am inspired by you. So, if you don't mind, I would like to share with you what I am learning right now from watching and seeing all of you decree recipients this spring afternoon. You are my professors today. Lesson number one, graduates, you're teaching me the pivotal importance of education. Look, a number of years ago you had to make a decision. Should you, leaving high school, should you get a job and start to work? Or if you were kind of in a phase of reconsideration, should you keep doing what you're doing or change something else? What would be the best thing for me to do now to enhance the quality of my own life and that of others? You all had to make that decision. And you chose school. You chose learning. You chose education, you chose a college, and I thank you for that. God's most profound natural gift to us is our mind. The, intel the Dominican intellectual giant St. Albert the Great wrote, in an age that uh, emphasizes earning and getting and action and pleasure and possessions, you opted for a value less coveted but surely more enduring. Time out for learning. To care for the intellect, to quote, acquire knowledge, skills, and understanding through reason, study, and discourse, as I note with admiration, is the first of Dominicans' educational goals. That is a supreme value. And thank you, class of 2019, for reminding us of that. Lesson number two. 
you're telling me this afternoon that you cherish community. You chose to learn from and with others. That's a college at its best, see? To trust and absorb not only the facts, but the wisdom and the character of professors. To sit next to others who ask questions and suggest answers. Classmates who more often than not become lifelong friends. To view education not as a gift to be hoarded, but to be yoked to service to others. Community. Community is important to you, class of 2019. A world tempted to become a bunch of scared, selfish, gated communities thanks you for that insight of community. Lesson number three, you apparently appreciate tradition. True, while Dominican College is celebrated for its creativity and innovation over its 67 years, it is part of a grand tradition of learning, fostered by the Catholic Church, inspired by the Dominican legacy of eight centuries. You are true radicals in the literal sense of the word, and that you have returned to roots, roots nurtured in the rich soil of tradition, roots that go back to the truth as revealed by God, especially in and through his son, Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life. You give tradition a good reputation, and for that, I thank you. Number four, class of 2019, you reminded me and everybody else honored to be here that life has purpose and meaning. From that gulag in Siberia, Solzhenitsyn wondered if the premier question we pose in life is, does life have purpose? Is there an origin and a goal to my existence? Or is everything arbitrary and pure chance? Well, we know how he replied, and I know how you have answered. You believe life has a purpose. You believe that God has a plan for you an important part being concluded today. You believe that we all have an origin and destiny. God made me to know, love, and serve him in this life and to be happy with him forever in the next. I learned that not in college, but when I was preparing for First Holy Communion. There's an ardor, a plan, a purpose, a focus in life. And thanks, graduates, for reminding me of that. And finally, lesson number five, you're letting us know in a very jubilant way that all we get is intended to be given away. I watch you in admiration, chafing to get going, to put your learning to good use, to move on, to get to work. Pope St. John Paul II called it the law of the gift. The law of the gift, and it goes like this. We are at our best. We are acting most in concert with God's intentions when we give away what is best in ourselves to another in love. Today, you'll get a degree in that law of the gift. Actually, that education in that law of the gift started under tutelage of the most sublime of your professors ever, your parents and your families. Marriage and family is the first school, the best school, where love, sacrifice, fidelity, and selflessness are passed on, the great Dominican thinker Thomas Aquinas taught. In a moment, we're all going to watch you smiling as you receive your diploma. Ah, but I've learned from experience that out there we'll spot another group who will beam, whose eyes will be moist, and whose throat will lump up as we watch your folks and families as you receive your degree. To them, I say thanks. 
Congratulations, moms and dads, grandparents and families. You've been great professors to these college graduates. <clears throat> St. Catherine of Siena, the great Dominican mystic and saint and intellect, wrote, For all that the Lord has done, I say praise. For all that the Lord wants to do, I say please. Way to go, my classmates, Dominican College Class of 2019. Thanks for teaching me some wisdom today. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. At this time, it is my pleasure to announce and to invite forward the recipients of the three memorial awards by which the college recognizes special academic accomplishments. Of special note this year is that all three of these students are graduating summa cum laude, meaning that they have a cumulative grade point average of 3.90 or higher. Actually, each has a GPA of at least 3.94, and each joined Dominican College as a freshman. Never before have three graduating students who entered the college as freshmen achieved this special distinction at the same commencement ceremony. If you are following the proceedings in your program, you will notice that we present the names of these honorees in inverted order, reading from the bottom of the page to the top. The Sister Michelle Nugent's Award for Achievement in the Study of the General Education Curriculum is presented to Leah Nicole McLaughlin.
The Sister Natalie Casey Award for Academic Excellence is presented to Christine Teresa Ditzel. The Mother Geraldine Forkel Award for Academic Excellence is presented to Kyle Dimas Souza. And now we come to the presentation of the students who are candidates for degrees and to the conferral of the degrees. The candidates will be presented in groups in the order indicated in your program, with each candidate within that group coming forward individually to receive the symbolic presentation of the, of the degree from the president of the college, Sister Mary Eileen O'Brien. After all of the candidates have presented, the degrees will be conferred by the chairperson of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Kenneth Marks. So that every individual's name can be clearly heard as it is called, we ask you to withhold your applause until all the students in each group have received the degrees. At that point, applause will be very much in order. The following candidate is presented for the degree of Associate in Arts, Shapressa Grishai. The following candidates are presented for the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Margaret Abramick. Carlana Alyssa Allwood. Esmeraldo Ladora Ambrona the Second. Clyde Armand. Caitlin Nicole Olay. Brittany Danielle Bahari, magna cum laude. Syria Melissa Bello Kakas. Arjun Bakiri. Casey Lynn Bergman. Alexa Lynn Bedrado. Yeah, 
Christopher Bryant Bedrado. Lisa Marie Bonilla, magna cum laude. Dawn Marie Bozit. John Michael Broderick. Nicole Maria Bryson. Rachel Lauren Bundick. Alexis Monique Burnett. Edward Joseph Burns. Jacqueline Allison Thompson Carlos. Jenna Nicole Chilella. Cassandra Clemente. Aaliyah A. Coley. Alexa Jade Crudell. Charles Anthony Camella. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Sabrina Ashley Curbello. Yeah. Chloe Delphin de Jesus. Jessica Adrian Diaz. <laughs> Idona Dijambalai. Mark Zinovi Dmitriev. Justin Parker DeBuff. Congratulations, sir. Spencer Andrew DeBuff. Congratulations. Harriet Ethium. Samantha Elizabeth Elsick. Janelle Alexa Escobar. Justin Elliot Estevez. Dylan James Ferraro. Thank you. Cassandra Michelle Fino. Congratulations. 
Sheila Ann Furman II. Christina Marie Galina. Esther Christiana Gallo, cum laude. Amanda Michelle Gangu. Richard Joseph Gordon. Justin Anthony Gennardi. Robert Steele Giolombardo. Taylor Renee Gilligan. Bobby Marie Goldman. Alicia Elba Gonzalez. Hope Goswick. Anna Nicole Hardy's Muda. Carell William Henry. Anthony Joes Avelli. Forleen Jean Louis. Joan Jennings. Jennifer Jimenez. Jalisa Jasmine Jones. Ashley Brianna Cantor. Sam Michael Curian. Jacqueline Amy Kraus. Ariel Najay Layson. Avery Martina Layson. Anjali S. Lalwani. Allison Nicole Lacquadara. Lisa S. Liriano. Melissa Kimberly Louis. Yeah. 
Edgy Jefferson Mark. Alejandro Beto Martinez. Congratulations. Levetsi R. Martinez. Jenna Lynn Masca. Kevin Joseph Mayer, magna cum laude. Samantha Joan McGovern. Elizabeth Rose Menhart, cum laude. Michael W. Merlino. Tiana Janelle Mighty. Demi Desiree Molina. Kyle Morgan, cum laude. Jasmine A. Morris. Yolanda Giselle Munoz. Joseph Myrtle, Jr. Samantha Ann Negron. Taylor M. Nelson. Gabrielle Marie O'Donnell. Darley Numa Magna Cum Laude. Nancy Altagracia Omenson. Sergio Antonio Oriana. Christopher Martin Pagan. Sean Thomas Palmer, magna cum laude. Sean Thomas Palmer, magna cum laude. Jennifer Lynn Paride. Alpresha Tanay Parker. Chrysanthi Krisa Paximidakis. Yeah. 
Jeannie Elena Peluso. Adida Elvira Pena. Kimberly Janet Pena. Emily Raynell Perez. Andrew James Pierre. Brianna Alexis Pimienta. Jennifer Ramos. Joseph John Randazzo. Elizabeth Claudine Arella. Nairobi Reyes. Amanda Penny Rigoli. Sierra Nicole Rivera. Justin George Rivera. Ashley Rodriguez. Virginia Sierra Rodriguez. Autumn D. Rogers Vasquez. Tatiana Kenya Roy. Devin Lee Rose Roman. <laughs> Kelvin Gabriel Rosario. <laughs> Ailish Mary Ross. Megan Jean Ross. Okay. Renee Rudolph Ramda. Okay. Luis Alonzo Ruelos. Elizabeth Sackasitz, magna cum laude. Kayla Santos. Larissa Marie Sanchez. Gabrielle Hannah Schneider. Okay. 
Danielle Amanda Storino, cum laude. Adriana Mariah Shaw. Kadisha Jasmine Soto. Naomi Luisa Soto. Brittany Rose Stone. Georgie Rose McKenzie Super. Angelina Tane. Andrea Carolina Tate, cum laude. Carl Victor Thomas. Corinna Ann Thorpe. Gerlinda Tupisant. David Alexander Ventura. Lauren Michelle Wilkins. Jessica Vithik, cum laude. Alexander Yang. Congratulations, sir. The following candidates are presented for the degree of Bachelor of Science in the field of athletic training. Shawnice C. Aaron. Thomas James Colombo. Jasli De Los Santos. Elvin Fung. Brandon Christopher Gutierrez. Evan W. Hegan. Jennifer Lauren Ginelli. Eva Juliet Lassen. Ina Kayla Simanas Livica. William Mizell Mazarigo. Danielle Anthony Murillo. Elizabeth Ann Roach. Okay. 
Jason John Shenlugan. Brianna Angelica Torres. The following candidates are presented for the degree of Bachelor of Science in the field of biology. Okay. Oh. Stephanie V. Dennis. Giovanna Ashley Jones. Natalia Perez Cervantes. Amanda May Saab. The following candidates are presented for the degree of Bachelor of Science in the field of Business Administration. Maria Alexandra Alvarez. Daniela Lucia Bronson. William James Brown. Okay. Sayan Kareem Charles. Okay. Joel Patricio Corral. Ashley Ann Nicole Quartz. Okay. Nicholas DiLorenzo. Okay. Joy Maria Fernandez. Richard Martelli Francois. Okay. Ian Gardner. Okay. Darren Avilio Guzman. Corey X. Hargraves, cum laude. Okay. Constantina Laura. Okay. Ekaterina Sergevina Maltes. Christian Brian Jordan. Okay. Emmanuel Jimenez. Okay. Jason Howard Brody. Catalina Montoya. Samantha Isabel Nugent. Lodi Dagoon Nomans.
Ivan Alfredo Nova. Nicole Osa Munoz. Daniel West Parker. Rosa Elviro Pena. Blake D. Radix. Sivan Schwartz. Okay. Ethan Raheem Smith, Jr. Asia Dolores St. Cloud. Austin W. Strinkowski. DeAndre Quayne Thomas. The following candidates are presented for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Education. Ariel Unique Lamas, cum laude. Dania Magana. The following candidates are presented with the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Lauren Patricia Torres Ajero. Katie Baez. Gretchelene Suarez Benag. Suzanne Holly Batterse. Jordan Felipe Bernasset. Sarah Basil. Shailen Corlebata, magna cum laude. Amberlyn Brady, magna cum laude. Amanda R. Corby Cum Laude. Ricky Gali Corman. Rose Janelle Celesty. Vincy C. Chaco. Kathleen Marie Connor. Laura Rose Cooper.
Helen Rocio Corrado, cum laude. Marilyn Eunice Corrado. Cresha Vadivia Devera. Lalita Marie Todd. Angelina Margaret De Felice. Somebody's out of order. I know. Kimberly Durandis. Austin Bartolome Evidante Cum Laude. Congratulations, Eugenia Adu Flacqua. Chanel Camille Francis Jackson Cum Laude. Yusuli Esmeralda Galdemez. Okay. Stephanie Rose George. Okay. Maureen Ann Gill. Okay. Shelby Lynn Goodrich. Francesca Marie Graciano, cum laude. Jason Gruya. Ivana Yahira Gutierrez. Miriam Hoffman. Dina Kakupas Hayamadan. Julianne Christine Lappy. Andrew Joseph Luria. Ruth E. Leon. Francis Ann DeRosa Makaraig. Christina Carrington Mayo. Michelle Christina Migliaccio. Brittany Elizabeth Miranda Cum Laude. Cheryl Susan Monsi. Christina Saramansis. Vanessa Grace Murata. Julie Samantha Needleman. Christina Lynn Noto.
Chevalier Thomas Stephen Ackman. Juby Sarah Ullman. Tiffany Amber Ortiz, cum laude. Jose A. Picado, Jr. Alexander Pidor Chiano. Elena Reggie. Magdalena Rivera. Kristen, Kirsten Marie Rizziotello Bristoli. Jasmine Rodriguez. Melody Rojas. Crystal Isabel Roman. Fariel N. Ryan. That's very Kelly Ann Shark. Kathleen Elizabeth Schoonover, cum laude. Emma Kate Silverman. Tariq Stowe. Amy Sunny. Sarah Rachel Suthar. Karen Jacqueline Swabby. Gabriella Tavares Cum Laude. Remya Thomas Magna Cum Laude. Stephanie Josette Torres. Biani Vasquez. Diego Ronaldo Vasquez Matut. Alicia Marie Vasquez. Taylor Verdigi. Shannon Lynn Volke, cum laude. The following candidates are presented for the degree of Bachelor of Social Work. <laughs> Ashley Penny Beckles. Cassidy Violet Biddleman. Thank you. Thank you. 
Daniela Angelica Carrillos Hernandez, magna cum laude. Tierra Jenny Dumas Shell. Nelsie Mabel Garcia de Leon. Jasmine Ashley McKinney. Ashley Ramirez. Lauren Elizabeth Roy. Lucille Sanchez. Elijah Roberto Tavares. As a culmination of the conferral of exclusively undergraduate degrees, the following candidates have completed their courses of study and have satisfied the requirements for their respective degrees within the college's honors program. Kimberly Lynette Avicito. Anthony Vincent Bartolome, cum laude. Alexis Lindsay Bowling, cum laude. Destiny T. Brown. Justin Michael Decker, magna cum laude. Christine Teresa Ditzel, summa cum laude. Darian Fernandez. Jennifer C. Heller. Emily F. Lazarus. Christine Marie Manny, magna cum laude. Stephanie Mori. Leah Nicole McLaughlin, summa cum laude. Michael Anthony Merced, cum laude. Naomi Perez, cum laude. Zachary Blake Pernick, magna cum laude. Kimberly Marie Petaway, magna cum laude. Kyle Dima Souza, summa cum laude. Before proceeding to the presentation of the students, who are candidates for graduate degrees and to the conferral of these master's and doctoral level degrees, 
Please join me in congratulating the undergraduate class of 2019 on their special achievements. The following candidates are presented for the degree of Bachelor of Science and Master of Science in the field of occupational therapy. Lisa Maria Abraham. Tricia Ann Paula Callender. Rhea Caitlin Catabig. Grace Eun Juchu. Catherine Pinter de Chavez. Karima Ayana Douglas. Stephanie R. Finnegan. Kellyanne Rose Goff. Jessica Marie Henrynuk. Okay. Lydia Marie George. Nicole Cara Laraca. Lauren Ann Russo. Anna Britta Lombard. Alexander Lopez. Abdul Mateen Marita. <laughs> Rebecca Macy. <laughs> Nicole Marie Palace. Daniela Naclerio. Kristen Lynn Permentor. Jasmine Rachel Ramirez. Victoria Ann Walters, Graduate Honors. Okay. Elaine Pascali. Sarah Marie Wolusen. The following candidates are presented for the degree of Masters of Business Administration. Yeah. 
Alicia M. Kelly Ormond. <laughs> Ashley Bayonne. Theory Exilus. Jermaine Ivanhoe Ricketts. Candidates are presented for the degree of Master of Science in Education. Victoria Hope O'Connor, Graduate Honors. Anthony James Alva, Graduate Honors. Deborah Adele Castaldi, Graduate Honors. Brenna Marie Cooney, Graduate Honors. Ross M. Dembin, Graduate Honors. Ashley M. Drenth, Graduate Honors. Elaine Hayes, Graduate Honors. Richard William Kefner, Graduate Honors. Justin T. Lorkin, Graduate Honors. Dustin Benjamin Leader, Graduate Honors. Hilary Espinoza Madrinon. Rebecca Ann Machetti, Graduate Honors. Jillian Ann Piangi. Okay. Anya Mairead Ross, Graduate Honors. Okay. Rachel Hope Shupak, Graduate Honors. Ryan William Tobin. Alshu Marina Varghese, Graduate Honors. The following candidates in the field of nursing family nurse practitioner are presented for the degree of Master of Science. Sandra Binkowski, Graduate Honors. Deirdre Ann Lyons, Graduate Honors. Okay. Stacy Lynn Marrero, Graduate Honors. Hazel Ann Penalosa, Graduate Honors. Okay. Stephanie Rose Dobson, Graduate Honors. Okay. Susan Marie Konish. The following 
candidates are presented for the degree of Doctor of Nursing Practice. Olivia Margaret Bourquet, Graduate Honors. Christine Marie Shanahan Davies. Graduate Honors. Felicia Marie Douglas, Graduate Honors. Sky Guerra, M. Guerra, Graduate Honors. Jesse Anama Joseph. Minnie Calaraco, Graduate Honors. Denise Angelique Perez, Graduate Honors. Barbara Polozwick, Graduate Honors. Teresa Fitzgerald Ritazzi. Danielle Vilsent, Graduate Honors. The following candidates are presented for the degree of Doctor of Physical Therapy. Khalid Aboelmadi. Rachel, Amanda Rachel Alfonso. Okay. Mahmoud Samir Zaglu Fami Ali. Neha Amin. Nermeen Mamdu Aziz. Nilu Behel. Anthony Jordan Chilili. Matthew Eric Cruz. Ruby Desagon. Vihang Anil Dave. Christy Linnae Davis. Okay. Amuleta Palkul Duchatel Tier. Okay. Caitlin Janet Elizavik. Melanie Borja Ello. Okay. 
Dina Domingo Feliciano. Lilin Delina Go. Chit Chit Fernandez Guling. Jamshaid Iqbal. Perananan J. Apollon. Sheila Buk Kafka. Daniel M. Lang. Jennifer Montano Lustria. Medmira Franny Mancoy. Arlen Rosales Mendoza. Graciela Barbara Morila. Michael James Morton. Marif Lanza Oceano. Gopal Bay Ambala Patel. And Jeanette Pobelti. John Guevara Quintero. Michael Khalil. Nermeen Safwat Bekit Shenandah. Minar Rigi. Ahmad Garas. Michael Sansone. Lydia Saka Lendertis. Emily Elizabeth Smith. Prem Sundar Ulagantanthan. Niji Elizabeth Varugis. Jessica Lauren Velez. Sarah Lynn Wilmot. Abby Joy De Leon Yapanya. Okay. 
Caitlin Marie Zeringo. Okay, this is the fun part. So, uh, on behalf of the trustees of Dominican College of Blauvelt, by virtue of the authority vested in them by law, and on recommendation of the faculty, I now formally confer upon the candidates gathered here today and upon the other members of the class of 2019 unable to join us, the degrees that they work so diligently to earn. So there is one more symbolic action that all students are now eligible to perform. It is a widespread tradition at college commencement ceremonies that students are expected to wear their mortarboard tassels on the right side prior to the conferring of the degree, and then wear them on the left side thereafter. So all degrees have now been confirmed Ladies and gentlemen of the class, graduating class of 2019, you are now officially eligible to move your tassels. Congratulations. We come now to the conclusion of our ceremony. I ask you now to rise. For the benediction to be offered by Sister Mary Ann Collins, OP, Counselor of the Dominican Sisters of Blauvelt, and then to remain standing and join in the singing of the Dominican College alma mater, which is printed on the last page of your program and will be led by Katie Anderson. When that is finished, we also ask you to remain in your places while first the platform party up here on the stage, then the faculty, and finally the class of 2019 processes out. And now for the benediction, please welcome Sister Mary Ann Collins. Sister. Loving God, we go forth from this commencement ceremony with great gratitude and pride in numerous noteworthy accomplishments. We pray that God's blessings may follow you, graduates of 2019, as you find new journeys to travel. May you walk safely along the pathways of your dreams. May God's hand guide the decisions you will make and the passions you will follow. May your hearts and your lives always reflect the tenets of Dominican College, that of educational excellence, leadership, and service. May hope be a light within you that will carry you into each new day. Go forth now and be the Dominican difference needed in our world today. Amen. We 
are proud that we are here. You have cared and taught and loved us. You have helped us to increase in our wisdom and our knowledge, in our search for truth and peace. May the light of your high standards guide our path as years go by. We are grateful. sing it loud and clear. Our college is Dominican. We are proud that we are here. Now we pledge our lives in service so our talents we might give. Meet the challenge yet before us that in justice all grateful Dominican College as we raise our voices high our college is Dominican we will sing it loud and clear our college is Dominican we are proud that we are here